What's going on guys, Sergeant Tech Tips, welcome to another video of my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to control the fan speed on your graphics card along with overclocking your GPU. Now it's not always recommended to overclock every single card out there because there are limits to the card and you can actually look the limits up. You can just do some research to tell. Uh, the main thing I'm showing you is how to control your fan speed, but you can also overclock your GPU with this tool. It's called MSI Afterburner. So to download it, the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description below. It's going to take you to this page here. Go ahead and click Download Afterburner. And then it's going to pop up up here or down here, depending on the browser you're using. It's not a very big file, so it should not take too long to install at all. Before I continue the video, I just want to let you guys know that there is merch for the channel. If you guys would like to actually buy the merch, you can actually go to the link in the description below. Or you can go to my YouTube channel. There's a new merch tab here. Just go ahead and click that, and it'll bring you to the Teespring website. And once you get to the Teespring website, you can choose what you want to buy. Uh, there's t-shirts, there's uh, tank tops, there's phone cases... There's a, you can buy a mug too, and I honestly want the mug, but if you guys would like to support the channel, you guys can go to the description below, or again, you can go to my YouTube channel and click the new merch tab. All right, so once that's done downloading, you can go ahead and go to your downloads folder. As always, right click on it and click extract all. You should not need any extracting tool because it's usually just a zip file from their website. And then when it's done, you can go here, go here, click right click, click run as admin. The UAC is gonna pop up. You guys can't see it at the moment, but I'll put something on the screen so you know what it looks like. Go ahead and click yes on the UAC. Once this comes up, click OK, click Next, click I accept the terms of license agreement, click Yes. Uh, you can do the Riva, Riva Tuner static server, but I don't tend to use that. You can also use this for benchmarking, so if you're playing a game, you can see your FPS, you can see the temperature, and I can do a tutorial on that if you guys would like to. Click Next, and then go ahead and install it. Once it's done installing, you can go ahead and choose if you want to read the README, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do Run, click Finish, and then it's going to pop up with this. So if you guys would actually like to change fan speed, click on this Auto button, and then bring it up to what you want, and then click the Check. And I can hear it. I can hear the fan on my GPU ramping up. Uh, you guys can't obviously hear it, but I can promise you it works. This is if you have... Holy crap, that's loud. This is if you have a GPU in your desktop, and this might work for some laptops, but it depends on the laptop supposedly and there's a way you guys can change the theme if you want because you probably saw the theme on the website if you just go here go to user interface and it says user interface skinning properties you can click here and then just choose the skin you want i usually use this one actually i use this one but i usually just use this one because i like this one more but yeah you guys can also up uh you can up the clock core clock shader clock memory clock and the core voltage on your graphics card now i am not responsible for any damage to your gpu i am just letting you know that there you can overclock your GPU with the software just look it up and look up like benchmarks if it's even worth uh, overclocking your GPU but if you guys would like me to do a video on how to overclock your GPU then I can definitely do that but yeah that's uh, MSI afterburner so you can control the fan speed on your graphics card if your graphics card gets hot like say you have an RX 580 I used to have one of those those get actually really hot so if you guys want to turn up the fan speed up to max it won't hurt your computer, just put it back to auto if you're just doing daily stuff on your computer because you don't want to have it running all the time because that can wear out the bearing and the fans on the graphics card. But yeah, guys, that's how you control the fan speed on your GPU. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you guys did not enjoy the video, please drop a dislike. Subscribe, channel, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Comment below for future videos, and let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments below. See you guys next video, and peace out.